Dude, he's 1v1 of Mordekaiser in melee range. He's not even fed. He just sidestepped every Q. Are, is Azir supposed to be able to do that? Am I just playing him wrong? <laughs> what is that? Alright, so he has a really good ult on Victor. The TP comes in. It's Mord. Okay, one sidestep, one Q sidestep. Second Q sidestep. Alright, I'm just bad. I want to learn how to play mid lane like Faker. Why? Because Faker is the goat of the mid lane, despite people like Chovy, Doombi, trying to kick him off his throne for 10 plus years. He still has like three or four world championships. He's still so consistent, so good. So I want to learn to play like them. Because if you want to be the best, you should learn how to play like the best. Or so I've been told. Over the next seven days, I'm going to be attempting to learn f one of Faker's most played champs, Azir. Faker has 100 games on Azir over his whole career. It's almost double more than what he has on his second most played, which is Rise at 65 games. He also has a 69% win rate, which is kind of awesome. So by day seven, I want to be able to play Azir at a plat one level. My highest elo ever has been plat one. I'm an 80 carry main. Anytime I get auto filled mid, I get stomped. I always just go Orianna and hope my team carries me. So my goal is in seven days, I want to be playing on my normal account at plat one and I want to not get stopped. In fact, I want to do well. I want to play like Faker. So this is day one. Let's get started. First things first, I played Azir maybe five times in my whole career. So I need to jump into practice tool and experiment with some combos, see what he's all about. And I have the SKT Azir skin, so that's a good sign. I'm going to try his flying combo a little bit. So I know he has this combo where, okay, so that's it. That's not too bad. I thought it was going to be way harder, but, um, so what ideally you're going to be positioning them like right there. And then when you want to go in, you, you'd fly. That's the combo. All right. So we got the combo down. Now we just have to practice it in solo queue. <laughs> what happened to my ult there? <laughs> I don't, how did I miss that? <laughs> Combos are so hard. Uh. Oh, dude, I got him! No, I didn't zone his again, damn it! Dude, yesterday I had a Poppy AFK on the enemy team, and now I have an AFK Poppy on my team. I wonder if it's the same Poppy. Maybe it's just Poppy mains. Maybe all Poppy mains suck. But we'll see how I go against a true mage. I haven't gone against a real mage yet. We just got shit on. Fuck. <laughs> oh, dude, it's big! Let's go! Alright, right off the bat, is you're super good in the melees. Dude, he's kind of getting shit on. <laughs> he just flashed for the cannons! And also, if you hard shove, you're gonna get ganked and die. Which, uh, happened to me quite a few times today. So... Alright, a few realizations from day one playing Azir. Number one, his turret relatively useless. No. <laughs> Rip. Number two, his poke in laning phase is pretty nuts, especially against melee people. Which makes sense. I was really surprised though with how badly I was able to abuse a Yone and a Kuyana in lane. Tomorrow morning, I have a few things I'm going to want to be working on. I'm going to start the day with looking at Summer Faker's gameplay to see how he plays Azir specifically. Alright, so first thing we're doing today is looking at some Azir gameplay. Let's take a look. Okay, so like I thought, it's pretty much about abusing your range and poke, and then obviously not getting poked down. General rule so far is poke as much as possible, which makes sense. And then just heavily apply pressure in lane because you have really good escape when you get ganked. He's getting ganked here, but he's playing his ear, so you just flash ult him into the turret and you have such good counter gank. It makes it almost impossible to gank behind your, your jungler side. Alistair's here. Ooh. We all miss him sometimes. That makes me feel better, uh, actually. You want to use your poke advantage in lane to get an advantage, and then use your extra timings uh, to go roam and make plays, find the jungler. So just like most mid laners, but it feels like Azir can apply so much pressure in lane that he's more able to do it. So my rule of thumb is going to be apply a lot of pressure on lane, use that pressure to go roam, get wards down, find the enemy jungler, and then hopefully that just snowballs into really good macro and advantages for my team.
Alright, I was way too ambitious. I am not mechanically good at Azir yet, and thus, I can't do all the things that Faker does in that review I did. Like, have good roam timings and apply a lot of pressure. I literally just have to mechanically, mechanically get better at the champion, because that's how I'm going to start winning, that's how I'm going to enable myself later on. So, next few days are going to be purely devoted to mechanics, I'd say, for... Day three, day four, day five, probably only mechanical play. I'm going to be practicing a lot in practice tool and just in normal games. Nice. Oh, that's, that feels so good to do that. Finally. You can go from Dragon Pit to Red. That is so far. So imagine they're on Dragon right now. You have a ward right there. And you do this combo. That is so nuts. I want to give a quick update on <laughs> how it's going. We're at the tail end of day four here. And it's not going too great. And a lot of these defeats are customs, but in these three games, I had three losses today where I just didn't perform well. <laughs> so I'm a little bit worried about uh, day seven. Hopefully it picks up over the next few days or I just start performing better. Dude, his laning is crazy because he knows exactly, like just perfectly how to play it. I mean, he's against an Orianna, which is... It should be relatively even, I feel like. You have a poke mage versus a poke mage. You both scale, play for late game. But still, level 3, he has her poked out of lane because of such good micro. Look at this Q sidestep. Sidestep. She loses all her prio, he walks forward, hits her with a sand sh soldier. I mean, he's also playing against Faker, the other guy, so that's probably in his head a little bit. So that kind I understand that, but... Just poked out of lane at level 4. Yeah, I think this just makes it too confusing. <laughs> my problem is that I want to poke in lane sometimes, but I don't know my Q range, and so I'll end up going to the side of them like that. Uh, and it's weird because your soldiers can auto from right here. Like, you can auto from pretty far away, but if I want to follow up with like a Q, I can't. And I do that a lot in lane, so that's what I'm trying to fix today. Day five. Besides one game today, everything has been going terribly wrong in game, and I think it's because I'm trying to do too much in, in the game. I'm trying to outpook the other laner. I'm trying to like dominant lane. I'm trying to roam, but it's just not working well because I just don't know the limits of this year yet. I guess so. Uh, I think for day six, what I'm mostly going to focus on is is not necessarily doing nothing in lane, but but focusing a lot more on just farming while having good CS. And then hopefully, hoping that translates to a lead, because every time I do those things where I actually like CS well, and I don't try and make a bunch of plays, my game usually goes good. And that makes sense, because the more plays you try and make in game, the more likely it is that you're going to make a bunch of game-breaking errors where your game's just over because you tried to do something. And so I'm going to take the opposite uh, way and just try and do less and just farm well, play really safe, and only go for ultimates that seem like really good ideas. So that's the plan for day six. I really hope it starts going better. I am ascended. Uh, okay, <laughs> so I'm the fed one. This could be an issue.
Let's go! Dude, that was so good. Did I run it down? No. Am I as good as Faker? Also no. But... Good as Faker. <laughs> I thought you said good ass Faker. Good as Faker. I'm as good as Faker. No, I'm not. But I did get a lot better in seven days. To the point where I felt pretty comfortable playing at a plat... I was probably in plat 2 elo mostly, but... Like I said, I wasn't running it down, I was making some good plays. So the journey to play as your like favorite faker will continue. There's definitely some improvements I want to work on in the way I approach learning part aspects of the game. If I had to do it over, I would do it a lot differently. I would be drilling from day one, and I would have already identified the core aspects of a champion on day one. But now is a good time to start doing those things, so I'm going to continue with this uh, learning Azir, learning mid lane in general, because I do want to end up playing like Faker eventually. Which is just to say, I want to get Challenger one day, so. The grind continues. 